Hey guys, this is Easy Solutions 2011, and today I'll be showing you about a uh, program called uh, Radmin. And uh, basically, this is a um, networking software in which uh, you can log on to a computer, see what they're doing. Maybe if yeah, they might have these at a school district or a work to make sure the employees are doing what they should be instead of getting on Facebook. So um, what I'm going to do is give you a quick tutorial on it today. So, uh, open it right now. Right now, I'm going to show you there another program real quick. It's called Advanced IP Scanner. And what this does, it'll scan for all the computers on my network. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the, pro or the uh, computer I'm looking for is called uh, Home001. Um, it's not showing the name for the computer right now. But uh, offhand, I know the IP address is 10006. So, with this knowledge, I'm going to exit out of here. And go open Radmin Viewer. In the current version right now is Radmin Viewer 3.4. In uh right now I'm set to view the computer with full control, which means I have full access towards the computer. The next one is just view only, so you can only see what the person is doing. You can actually um, do anything to the computer. This one right here um, is file transfer, which basically means you transfer files from the computer you're on to or from the uh, computer that you're connecting to this one either shuts down or turns off or restarts the computer whatever you prefer the next one will um, open a chat session with the computer you want to contact the next one is um, voice chat and then the last one is uh, you can send a message to them but uh, today I'm just going to show you guys how to uh, do the um, full control so with the previous knowledge earlier, I knew that my computer's IP was 10.0.0.6. I'm going to use this, and I already have it set up. I'm going to type in my password. And click OK. And then right there is my computer. I'm going to pull full screen so you guys can see that I have full access towards it. And this is the computer not the best there we go that's better and I uh, say I want to log on to it I'll just go up here and hit the control alt delete click OK on here and then um, I can actually start typing if I would like to type in my username then my password and then I log on yeah but basically um say you want a networking company and yeah you just want to see what your uh, employees are doing this would be a perfect program to use because um, uh, if I were just viewing it nobody would be able to know that I was logged on to that computer um, but other than that this is actually a pretty cool software um, it never lags for me on my network so I don't have to worry about uh, waiting like some of the other programs I use um, like one another one I used to use was TeamViewer but um, Radmin is just specifically for a network. So, so if you're at a business network or home network, you, you can view the computers. But in order to view the computers, they have to have um, Radmin server installed on that computer. But like right here, I'll show you guys real quick. I have full access to this computer. This is my Windows XP computer. Don't have too much installed on it right now. But if I were to view this only, um, you wouldn't know I'd be logged on to it. Um, that's it guys, I just wanted a quick tutorial on Radmin Viewer 3.4 um, uh, if you guys decide to get this program I highly recommend it especially if you're a, um, maybe a, a founder of a company and own some networking or you are the um, maybe uh, just want to see what your employees are doing this would be a perfect program to use um, thanks for watching